What you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. I just figured out why Jesus being a fictional character is a necessary element of atheistic philosophy. Atheistic philosophy, otherwise known as reality. We know Jesus is a fictional character because we know Perseus is a fictional character. We know Quetzalcoatl is a fictional character. Therefore, we know Jesus is a fictional character. If anybody out there believes Jesus is not a fictional character, step up, show your evidence, kill some roosters, and thank you. Atheists are very smart. There's no doubt about that. That just cracks me up. So, a baby just born, ergo, an atheist, is how do you know that baby is smart? What the hell does rejecting imaginary best friends have to do with being smart? I posit the hypothesis, 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 that atheists are merely intellectually and emotionally more mature than theists. I don't see being smart having much to do with it. Maturity, yes. Smart, not so much. And I think they were sitting around one day trying to discuss the problem of Jesus. That's right. Atheists are just like, you know, they're sitting around and they're contemplating all of the gods and, uh, oh, you know, the problem of, uh, you know, Freya and, and Uden and all of the Valkyries, you know, we really got to address those problems. Oh, by the way, and Jesus, uh, Quetzalcoatl, we handled him already, or it, um, you know, feathered reptile gods, you know, we dealt with that already. And they all said, well... I mean, he didn't do anything wrong. He was a good guy. That's right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, atheists just sit around. You know that Jesus God. He yeah, he, he was okay. But you know, like that that Zeus guy. You know, always cheating on his wife Hera. You know, just a lot like Donald Trump. Only, um, okay, a lot like Donald Trump. <laughs> Prob actually. Exactly like Donald Trump. Yeah, the Jesus, yeah, we cut him some slack. It's like, well, hold on. We can't really discount these claims of divinity that, that the Christians put out there. We can't? You can't? A theist? Um, presumably a Christian. Atheist? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Atheists can discount the miracles attributed to Quetzalcoatl. They do it all the time. Ditto, Jesus. Ditto, Santa Claus. Ditto, Uden, Thor, Mercury, Apollo. If you're going to posit miracles or divinity, yes, we discount that because we need evidence. Uh, as soon as there's evidence, um, please let us know. Well, we don't believe in the Bible anyway. Not the point. The point is, we really can't discount eyewitness accounts. We can't discount that which does not exist. Step up and produce an eyewitness that Jesus was divine. Of a man's life. A man? A man? Dude, you're going to hell. Jesus, according to your mythology, was not a man. We can't just throw those out and disallow them, and really expect to win a logical argument. All those, all of those eyewitness accounts, produce one! One! If the man was real. Well, wait, wait, wait a second, what do you mean if the man was real? Nobody really disputes that. Nobody? Really? Nobody out there disputes the claim that Jesus actually existed someday? Nobody? A uh, shitload of Bible study scholars think Jesus was completely imaginary. Maybe a compilation of other people. Well, I mean, the fact of the matter is, um, 
if he was real and he was a good man and he made claims of divinity, us calling him a good man agrees with his claims of divinity because he can't just throw everything else out. Okay, produce evidence that Jesus made claims of any kind, let alone that he was divine. How can we discount, as atheists, that which does not exist? It's like, it's a very well-crafted narrative, and he's, uh, the things he said are... Please produce evidence that Jesus ever said anything, let alone a well-crafted narrative. ...are very deep and meaningful, insightful, and important. And so, I don't, there's no way to justify that he was completely crazy, but he said all these deeply meaningful, important things. And you know that how? Please, produce evidence that Jesus ever said anything, let alone anything important. And we can't d completely discount the, the claims of divinity because they're there. That just cracks me up. Dude, if it is true for the Jesus God, then it is also true for the Hercules God. How is this not bloody, blatantly obvious to everybody? Culturally, they're there. Therefore, the elephant god Ganshi, since it's a cultural god, and there's a shitload of stories about that god, therefore, that god is real and divine, and atheists can't discount that. Ditto Christians. By your... I'm sorry, I almost used the word logic. By your... I'm sorry, I'm trying to be nice here. <laughs> Everything that you have said about your favorite God applies to all of the others. Is this not obvious to the meanest understanding? Uh, mythologically, and I mean, the fulfilled prophecies are there. Name one. Good luck with that, by the way. <laughs> so, we, c we only have one narrative here, guys. Well, wait, wait, why? We can't agree that Jesus was a real person and that he wasn't God. No, not if he said so, because if he wasn't God, now I've got this problem of we can't say he's a good person. Why? Because the man was crazy. Produce evidence Jesus ever said anything. We are still waiting. Or many was evil. I mean, C.S. Lewis had a pretty good point. So how do we deal with that liar, lunatic, or lord? Or mistaken, misquoted, or myth. Oops. Philosophy. But we just, all we can do is, like, say he never existed in the first place. Produce evidence that he did. That uh, first century Jews just made him up. Jews? You just said that the Jews created Jesus mythology. Have you ever heard of the Greeks? Have you ever wondered why the Christian Testament was written in Greek and not Hebrew? Wholesale, from whole cloth, just completely made him up. No, no atheist says that. No Bible scholar says that. Why are you attacking a position that nobody is defending? Oh, I know! It's so much easier that way, isn't it? And he never existed because that's the only ground we can stand on. It's the only ground that works. Except if he was mythology mistaken or misquoted. Oops. I did it again. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Put some ice on it. Because... We can't say he's God, and if he wasn't God, then the, then the Pharisees were right to kill him. I'm sorry, Pharisees? Roman Pharisees? Your p paper God says that Jesus was killed by Romans, not Pharisees? Why do I have to tell you that when you could read your own paper God yourself? Because he was a blasphemer trying to lead a religious rebellion and thousands of people were flocking to him. They had to kill him. And if we say that, that the Jews were right, we're agreeing that God exists. Dude, please name one of this, just one out there, who denies that the stories about Jesus exist. That blasphemy is a sin punishable by death. We can't do that either. Because... Blasphemy is not something anybody should die for if God doesn't exist, so we can't agree with him there. We... Dude, how many tens of thousands of people have Christians butchered for blasphemy? In the United States, Christians were butchering other Christians for blasphemy. 
If your gods exist, what does that have to do with blasphemy? Blasphemy exists because people like you hate the fact that other people don't agree with them. That is called blasphemy. And your cult has butchered a hell of a lot of people for blasphemy has absolutely nothing at all to do with the gods existing or not. Why do I have to explain this when it is so fucking obvious that when somebody blasphemies something, or somebody, or a god, it's never a god that punishes the blasphemer? I can agree that that was the right call for them to do, but we can't say it makes Jesus bad. But if Jesus wasn't bad, we have to deal with the fact that he also said he was God, or God's equivalent. <sighs> round and around and around we go. Produce evidence that Jesus said anything, let alone that he was a God, or the God, or a God equivalent. And we can't do that, especially not with Christianity. So we've got to say he never existed in the first place. Yeah, uh, as soon as you can produce evidence that Jesus existed, then we can discuss the issue. Such as, after you produce evidence that Jesus existed, then produce evidence that Jesus actually said something, and then produce evidence that Jesus actually said it. Then we can start the discussion, not before. How do we make that narrative work? I, nobody has a body. Doesn't that kind of help their case? Kind of. But the fact of the matter is, no physical body that says this is Jesus has ever been found. You can't find a Jesus carcass, therefore Jesus was a god. Please, produce the body of Quetzalcoatl. It's like, well, it wasn't supposed to be. He, he, he came back from the life. Well, from, from the dead. Well, exactly, you know, and, and that's just a fantasy, so we're not going to worry about that. Yeah. Right. And, okay, we agree. Why didn't you start with that, dude? You could have saved us ten minutes. Um, I'm saying the whole thing is fantasy. They just made him all up from the beginning. Jesus Christ never existed. The man didn't live. He didn't die. And he wasn't crucified. Yes, that's how it works. As soon as you produce evidence, then we can look at it. Until then, dismissed. Are you saying... All of the stories about Indra must be true because it's written down and it's older, those stories are older than your mythology. Therefore, it's true. And Indra existed and has existed for tens of thousands of lifetimes because, gosh, it's written down. There's stories about him. There's, what, 700,000, no, 700 million Hindus who believe Indra existed, therefore he must have existed. That is your argument. Do you see any problems with your argument applying to all of the other gods that have written stories about them and people not believing those stories, such as Christians not believing those? They have the exact same evidence you do. That's it. That's our story. Think it'll work? Uh, you think it works? Look at all of the other gods. Look at all the other stories. Do you accept those as true? If not, hey, it worked! You are applying to atheists that which you have already accepted for all of the other gods and all of the other mythologies and all of the other stories and all the other cultures except for your gods. Produce evidence, please, that your gods are in any way different than all of the others. Produce evidence, please, that your mythologies are true and all of the other mythologies are wrong, or false, or imaginary, or fictitious. I will not hold my breath. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.